Okay, so if you have BoxyCharm, you know what's up. But if you don't, there are three different types of BoxyCharm boxes. One is the base box. It's $25 a month. The other one is an upgrade, uh, which means you don't get the base box, but you just get the premium box, and it's $35 a month. And each one of those has, it's supposed to be, you know, a minimum of so many so much value i think the premium is like minimum 175 dollars value um i can't really remember all those all the values um but then they also have a quarterly box called boxy lux and that's the big box and it is actually 40 i think it's 49.99 every every quarter so this is the december boxy lux this is my first premium because i was on the wait list so we're going to actually open the premium first because as the tiers go it would be base box premium and then lux and those are the you go in from the least value and the least expensive to the highest value and the high and the, the most uh, cost. So we're going to get right into this box. I'm so excited. I feel like I take forever on, on unboxing. So I went ahead and just cut it, but I have not opened it. So this will be our both of our first um, look at the BoxyCharm. This is the premium and um, the uh, theme of December is whimsy. Which, uh, tell me what that is, you guys. I'm not really sure. <laughs> So the first thing I see here I'm so excited that, about is the Glow Recipe. This is the uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. Moistur bleh, moisturizer. It is 60 milliliters and it uh, retails for $39. I love uh, the packaging. I don't think I have anything from Glow Recipe, but I have wanted to try this, um, this brand. So this is like great. I love the variety and the stuff that BoxyCharm has been putting in these boxes lately, you guys. Okay, so this is the Glow Recipe. Look how cute this is. It's, I don't know, if, I think it's glass. Um, but yeah, this, um, I've heard great things. People say it smells nice. It is for oily to combo skin, but I actually have heard some people with dry skin saying that they use it and they love it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, one pa palette that I did see already that I didn't know was coming in here, and I don't know if I'm excited about it or not yet, to be honest, um, is the Basic Beauty. It has three, I think it's supposed to be highlighters, you guys, but I'll show you. I don't think these are going to work for my skin tone just because I'm so light. And this Basic Beauty Glowy AF Wet Glow Trio is um, retail for $30. I've seen people use it, say it's really, really nice. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just, I guess, it got like all wrinkled up somehow. I don't know. And then I can't even put it in a dang giveaway now, y'all. Oh, well. I'll probably give it to somebody like in my family, but I just think it'll be too dark for me. They're, they're really pretty colors, though. So we're already up to a $69 value and I paid $25 for this box. So this is one, I don't really use Kat Von D anymore. I only have a couple products anyways, but I kind of stopped supporting her. Um, you know, no, no shade, but this is the, her cake pencil. It's an eyeliner. Although I have her, heard good things about this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I will probably give it in a giveaway. And this are, or the yeah, MSRP is $19. All right, and we have the Skin Fix Eczema Plus Dermatitis Face Balm. This is for dry skin. I don't know if I will try this or not, um, but I believe all these products are, are full size. I don't think I, I may have heard of Skin Fix, but I don't think I've used any of their, um, their brand. It is the Dermatitis Face Balm, and it retails for $28. A couple more items in here to go. Okay, so... This is, I don't know how to say this, it's Laneige, Laneige, um, eye sleeping masks. I always like a good mask. Eye masks are great. Um, but this is, I've seen somebody use this. It's a really um, cool little applicator. You dip it in and this is like a rolling, like a, a rotating ball type thing. And you just put it underneath your eyes and then you sleep in it. So I, I am going to try that. And this one, I was kind of upset, not really upset, because I'm going to, um, spoiler alert, this is going to be in a giveaway, because I do already own um, the Dose of, of uh, Colors Hidden Treasure Palette. It's actually, it's beautiful, depending on if you, if you have like an OCD problem, a lot of people say like it, they can't handle it because of the pans not being in order. But you guys, this is a really beautiful palette. I've seen some really pretty looks with it. I've used it before. It's a nice formula. I like those colors. And this retails for $50, you guys. So that's a good one. So again, this is Boxy Premium. This is Variation 31. And let's see, it's 50, 89, 108, 142, 172. It's a $200 value on the premium box. So let's get right over to the Lux and see how they compare. Okay, let's try to do this as quickly as possible. 
this is the boxy lux this one was almost 50 bucks it's like 49.98 49.99 something like that um the theme is still whimsy and oh dang this got i hope there's nothing broken in here um so yeah let's start going through the box the first thing i see here is the rituals um oh a sensational foaming shower gel so this is a shower gel by rituals and this retails for nine dollars and fifty cents so that's something different than i have gotten before uh another cat bondi product i don't know if that's just the theme of the month but this is a tattoo liner uh, the dagger tattoo liner i don't know the difference between that and the original <clears throat> excuse me i don't really prefer her eyeliner so this is probably another item that will um go in a giveaway and the cat bondi is 20 dollar retail value so that's two items so far okay and i see a Too faced melted mat um I might try this again because I haven't tried these for a while. These are not, were not my favorite lipstick at the time. Let me look at it and see. Yeah, it's, it's what I thought it was. But I really think it's a pretty color. So I may go ahead and give them a try. I do that every once in a while. You know, just try to, <clears throat> excuse me, revisit brands that I may have tried years and years ago. Um, so the next one is the Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. I don't think, is that the name of the brand? Let me look at this. Let me look and see. So the Too Faced um, lipstick was $21 retail. Um, this spray, In Beauty, I think it's what, it, yeah, In Beauty, and it is $32. So I'll have to check this out. I don't know. I may keep it, may give it away. I'll have to kind of look at some reviews because I've never heard of In Beauty. Um, but yeah, so set your makeup, energize, and revive your skin. Well, if it'll do all that, I might try it. So this is one item that I did get to pick. I knew this was coming. Um, I can't remember what it was you got to pick between, but it was this one and something else. This is a cosmetic, 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 I don't, I think it's cosmetic, cosmetics with the X on the end. Oh, come on. So this is like a face and body roller. It has a smooth size and a side and it has a side here. Um, this cosmetics roller let's see here where's it at oh it retails for 69 dollars, you guys and so mind you this box was only 50 so right there it's almost 20 dollars over what you paid for it so that's really awesome I'm, i really was excited when i saw that choice let's get to the next one i see and th i'm excited about this um this is a confetti highlighter um i think the base box might have been the ones that got the blushes i really really wanted a blush i mean don't get me wrong i like highlighter but um I, those blushes just look really nice so i'm kind of sad about that and that's like the downside of not getting the base box so like i said that's the downside is you there are going to be products sometimes that you're going to get that you don't want and that you're not going to get that you wanted this is really pretty but if i have to be honest with you this packaging is really really lightweight i mean it doesn't feel heavy and luxurious but it's nice it's just um you know i just want to point out my first impressions but it's pretty i think i will keep it but like i said i really said i didn't get the blush um this fresh soy face cleanser i'm so excited about this i do have a couple of fresh products not a lot but i do want to try a lot from their brand um oh by the way that ciate london or this oh sorry i said ciate london why did i say ciate london is that is that the name anyways the confetti highlighter was a 32 dollar retail um the fresh product is a 48 dollar retail hell yeah so i'll definitely keep this and try to try this because like i said i do have a couple products i like and i do like the brand i just am trying not to buy a bunch of shit right now so that's a good a good one in this box all right so it looks like a couple more items this is another item that i got to choose this is the saturday skin waterfall glacial water cream and this retails for 39 dollars. another pretty pricey product um i'm gonna say this is probably like peter thomas roth or um tasha water cream that same type of you know um texture or formula so and then we're gonna look at this last item here the big item and i'm really excited to get this one but again there were story box um there were a couple uh, uh i said story box there were storybook um palettes that were in the base box that i really liked and so again it's like you know i'm happy for this one of course but i really would have liked one of the little uh little palettes as well so again you just have to kind of take the good with the bad um and it's funny because it, when you first open this up it probably looks all extra dirty but it's not it's the way the palette is supposed to look like old and and worn you know kind of like um because it's called the fairy tale storybook but it's really pretty packaging so the palette retails for 55 i will add all this up for you but look we got the palette we got the fresh um soy cleanser we got the cosmetics roller 
Too Faced Lipstick, Ciate Highlighter, Kat Von D Eyeliner, Saturday Skin Water Cream, um, the In Beauty Setting Spray, and the Rituals um, Cleansing, what was it, Foaming Shower Gel. So I will add that up and come back. So this is $324.50 for the Boxy Lux box, which is a huge value for only $50. Um, again, I think it's a kind of a give and take because on the last uh, month when on November when I didn't get the premium, I did notice that um, the base box got a palette that I really liked, which now I, I'm blanking. I can't remember which palette it was. Um, but anyways, uh, the premium got a different palette and they were both beautiful, but I was like, but I would miss out on the base box and I, I'm really glad I got that palette. So I'm kind of going through the same thing here where there's things in the base box where I really wanted, but look, it's BoxyCharm does a good job to try to get you what you want and what you need and what you can, you know, put your preferences, whether you want a bunch of makeup or skincare, and they're really trying to get our feedback to make the boxes better. So you just kind of have to take the good with the bad. I give stuff away that I don't like, and I just feel like it's so much of a bigger value. You know, it's 300 and something dollars when you only pay 50. So you can take some things for yourself and give some things away.